Hello and welcome to everyone. This is Neeraj Vati. Now we will see the what are the fluctuations of energy during a cycle. We know that this turning moment diagram from our previous studies that the turning moment value continuously changes from zero to maximum and then minimum, then maximum, then minimum. Okay. Now you can see here A to B if the crank turn by angle 0 to P then the turning moment produced is A to B, the area under this curve and the mean resisting turning moment is A B P A. So from 0 to P value theta equal to 0 to theta equal to P required turning moment is equals to area under A capital A capital B and small p and available turning moment is area under A, B. So the difference of these two turning moments is basically the fluctuation of turning moment. Required turning moment minus available turning moment gives us the fluctuation in the energy that is the work done and this fluctuation of energy here you can see that the required energy is uh, uh, more than the available energy so definitely this portion of energy supplied by plywood Okay. Similarly, in the second case, the required resisting torque is BCPQ, this area, but the available energy is this. This is the available. So definitely excess amount of energy is available. So this energy is supplied to the flywheel. for storage for storage okay here this bbc is the fluctuation of energy the variation of energy above or below the mean resisting torque line is are called as the fluctuations of energy you can see here this is the mean energy uh, mean torque line bc and the variation of the energy above this torque line is above area is called as the fluctuation of energy. The area BPC here I shown by round 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 hatching is called as fluctuation of energy. This area is round 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 fluctuation of energy. Yet this area represents the fluctuation of energy between C, C and D. This area represents the fluctuation of energy. This area represents the fluctuation of energy. The difference between the maximum and the minimum energies are known as the maximum fluctuation of energy. The difference between the maximum and the minimum energies available is called as the maximum fluctuation of energy. Now we will determine the maximum fluctuation of energy method to determine the maximum fluctuation of energy. Let us consider this diagram of uh, the turning moment variation with the crank angle and here let at point A the energy available is E. Let at point capital A energy available
is equals to E. Now, when I am moving towards point B, this much of my energy is generated because it is above the mean line. This is the mean torque line. So at B, at B, the energy available is E plus A1. Is the area of turning room at diagram which is directly proportional to the energy produced. Similarly, at C, E plus A1 is available, but again, when we are moving from B to C, there is a drop of energy, there is a requirement of energy for system. This is the negative energy which is supplied to the system, the positive energy which is available in the axis. So the system will heat energy from us from by amount A2. Similarly, at B, the energy becomes E plus A1, the energy at C plus the fluctuation amount A3. Similarly, at D, E, the energy at D, A, this energy can be determined uh, called as denoted by EB, this energy amount is EC, this energy amount of ED. You can write here also that ED plus or minus whatever is available here, that is negative loop to minus A. You can also write that E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 plus sign minus A4. Similarly, at F, you can write E plus A1 plus minus A2 plus A3 minus A4. This is the energy amount at E point. And after when I am moving, I am moving from E to F, there is a positive energy loop. So, that positive energy loop A5 is added here. At FG, the energy is E plus A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus this negative loop is subtracted from this energy quantity. So not plus this minus A6. So this is the total. Now again we can see here that the energy at A and energy at E same. Sorry, energy at A and energy at G is same. Energy at A is equal to energy at E. <coughs> now what is the maximum amount of energy available? What is the maximum amount of energy? Because the fluctuate, maximum fluctuation of energy is the difference between the maximum energy at the point minus the minimum energy. Now, the maximum energy available, say E max, is equals to maximum of EA, EB, EC, dot 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 dot. We know that E A and E G are same, but as we have two points, and I am writing here two points. Similarly, E minimum is minimum of minimum value of all of this. Mr. Jovi, substitute hoga wo ya lenge. E comma E B comma E C dot 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 e e so these are the max e max and e max in and the fluctuation of energy delta e is the fluctuation of
मैक्सिमम एनर्जी इक्वल टू ई मैक्स माइनस ई मी ओके सो यू कैन फाइंड दचुएशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन दिस मैनर If you have any doubt or query related to this class or any topic of theory of machine, then send your doubts or queries on the mail IDs or the numbers given below. Thank you.